He's got a good one. You know who that masked man is? That's Rob Turkula, a.k.a. Lunkers TV. And this episode right here is one of the SMCs we did for Discovery Channel that is going to air for the very first time on YouTube. This is him and I at Lake St. Clair. You know, we did a team challenge, and then right after the team challenge, him and I went out a little one-on-one, -on -one, and I took him to a super cool spot in the middle of the lake, and we caught some absolute giants. Okay, so this episode is going to be awesome. And uh, do me a favor, share it out. Now, but first... Before we get into it, I want to say a huge thank you to Simply Safe because they're sponsoring this video. And let me tell you guys, I've been using Simply Safe all year long. You've seen me do several videos talking about how I've integrated some of their products in my office and home. And I just really want to say I've got all the products now. I'm so happy with it. It flawlessly works. Uh, I, I couldn't be more happy with how easy it was to install. I didn't have to have some creepy guy here at my house installing stuff. I did it all myself. And I've done it in stages. So we did the door chimes, we did the window chimes, we did the alarms, we did the in in uh, the in office cameras, and all that works so awesome. And along with my app, I can actually pull it up anytime I want to, and see what's going on in my office or alarm, or, you know, set my alarm any time or turn it off anytime I want. Then I did the door locks, which is awesome. The Simply Safe door locks, which are great. And again, I can unlock or lock my office anytime I want. If you have a, a home, you want to do that, the same thing. You can unlock or lock, let people in, give them their own codes so they can get in as well. So Simply Safe for me has been awesome. It's been a great choice and I would love for you guys to check it out. So here's what I want you to do. Do me a huge solid here. Check out Simply Safe right here. Bam! That's right. SimplySafe.com forward slash Scott Martin. That's all I need you to do, guys. Check it out. Check out the products. And again, they're so easy to install. Uh, they're reasonably priced. And you have 24-hour monitoring. Okay, so this stuff is awesome. Thank you, Simply Safe, for making great products. And now, speaking of great, let's get into this great episode. Catching some great, big, giant donkeys. Yeah, that's right, Rob. Well, I can't get enough of this place. Lake St. Clair, famous smallmouth fishery. That's right, I'm bringing my good buddy back again. Rod Kirkley, Lunkers TV, part of the Guggen Squad. We did a little team challenge the other day in a previous episode, and we just can't get enough of it. We're gonna do a little exploring on Lake St. Clair. We're gonna try to fish in some places maybe we haven't been to, but also, I'm gonna take you to a special little place I affectionately call the Gorilla Zoo. It's full of big old giant brown ones. I am excited. You know why? Because we're here at Lake St. Clair and there's giant smallmouth swimming around. Because me and you have been jacking them up, my friend. Yes. I'll tell you what, I'm excited about going out fishing with you again. We, we've been up here a couple days yeah. messing around. We, we did a team challenge with old yeah. Scott Dobson and John B. Had a lot of fun. That show was unbelievable. We gotta go out and do it again. Yeah, we do. We gotta we tear up some big old smallmouth as well. Plus largemouth, maybe some pike. Let's go fish some places that we haven't done. We've never even been before. So we'll, it up. This show will be a, a little exploration and big smallmouth. There's all these mayflies on the water. This is a hatch that happened. This right here is a mayfly. And there's liable to be some largemouth and smallmouth cruising this bank, sucking these little puppies down. We'll throw a little top water on them, mm -hmm. little worms, just sight fish them a little bit, see what happens, do this for a little bit. What do you think? Yeah, I'm down. This is a world-class smallmouth fishery, but we can, let's go and explore a little bit. I don't know, we'll see what we can find. Go fish where maybe people don't fish too often. I'm 100% I'm down with that. Let's go back in this, this canal here. I don't, I don't know where it goes, but it's some looks, large mouth, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's pretty good back in there, something. actually. Oh wow, there's some big old spiders up there, huh? Dude, this is crazy. Yeah, I've never fished anything like this where you're having to like find the cut. On the map, mm. it says that there's a little canal, like a little backwater area back in there. I, I trust you because you're from Florida. It looks this like is, a trail in front of us. I'm not pretty... sure if it's a very well traveled <laughs> trail, but it is a trail. This is this is like uh, this is a buddy. A buddy says, "Go through the, just go through this little cut." Well, this, this is, a, is what this we're. Is, this is a cut. This is, this is a mess. This is uh, Scott and Rob's fabulous <laughs> adventures. I mean, we got to go through there to get out of here. 
We looked on the satellite, it looked like there was like a little lake back in here. That's not really the case, it's all grown up. So let's go out of here, we'll go to the other side of this bay, see what happens, what do you think? Yeah, I'm down, I'm good. All right, I'm at least allowed one bad decision, you know. I'll give you that, I'll give you that. This, week, one, this one was right? kinda, hmm. Yeah. It's a little choked up, dude. Forget those large mouth, dude. Forget the large mouth. Hey, I'm allowed a bad idea every once in a while, okay? I am allowed, after all these years of fishing, I am allowed a bad idea. Look, 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 He's coming up with the bait right look, now. Dude, what are you doing? this is crazy. Dude, he, he just followed my dragon drop out. I just reeled it in, he just chased it all the way up to the boat. That tail was wiggling yeah. and he chased it. All the way. We're not getting bit on the bottom. Maybe a jerk bait, dude. Jerk bait. That's a good idea. Yeah. Oh God, come on, look at him. Oh, he's about to get it. Ugh. Dude, he's underneath it. He's underneath oh, it again. Oh, you're he's, about to give him the dangle. He's dangled. gonna get it, dude. Oh, here this goes. is gonna be cool. Here comes round two. Oh, he's trying. Oh. He's gonna eat it. He's, oh, gonna, he's got, got it. it. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. That is so cool. They don't want it on the bottom, man. That is so that's cool. That's awesome. <laughs> that was good. Can we grab him for you? Oh, there he goes. All right, we call that quick release. Don't worry about it. That's quick release. <laughs> it doesn't matter. No. That was cool. Hey. Yeah. That was. That awesome. was the, the fish. <laughs> we messed around with large mouth and tried to do some things. That didn't work. But we get out here in the lake and we're cruising across this flat and we see a couple dark spots. Throwing little dragon drops on them. Nothing. But he was reeling his dragon drop in and the wiggles. You know when you reel it in and a big fish came after and chased it. And then I had the same thing happen when I reeled my dragon drop in. So I put this jerk bait on and literally the fish followed us and I made him eat right there at the boat. Now that was cool. That was cool. I know he got off, but still, that was, that was pretty cool. There he is. There he is, good job. There he is. Nice dude, oh that's a big one. That's a big one. He's got a big one. It's not a bad fish, no, actually. not at all. Ah, here we go. All right. Dude, the color on these fish are way different than the ones out in the deeper water. I know. These, these are like Because these fish are up on the sand. And, um, you know, they were spawning in here. But that, that was a mayfly fish. Yeah, I saw him come and eat. Yeah. Very yeah, good, dude. There you go. Think? What do you think? Not near as big as that first one we caught. I think I got you just by a little bit. Yeah, but you still did. three pounder. I'll take that all day. All day. I just can't believe he showed himself. And that was that it. That was cool. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh, he's got oh, he's got oh that was awesome. There we go. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Whoa, switched it up on him. I flipped in there right after you said that too. There's something about a jerk bait that just makes those smallmouth mad. They just get fired up. They, they see it, they're like, yeah. I mean, they can't resist it. It's like, choo, choo. And they're yeah. like, oh, I gotta eat that. I gotta it's, eat it. It's just, they're, they're like the most, they get mad. They actually, smallmouth get mad because they're like chilling, nothing's bothering them. They're like, yeah, whatever. And then it's like, and they go, Ooh, and they just like, <laughs> bam. There we go. Very nice. There we go. That's a really good one. Here you go. There we go. Hey, yeah, I think that's the best one I've got all day, actually. Good fish. That is a long fish. Very long. That is a long circle. Look at that. What do you think? You said mine was three and three quarters. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd this say is, we're tied. I think it's about a tie right there. I, think I we're really tied. do, yeah. Yeah. Oh, guy. Okay. Uh, oh, he's stop, about to do it. He's about to do it. He's about to stop. do it. Dude, this water is so unbelievably clear. You can see these smallmouth swimming around. There's like five of them right there. Big old black ones laying in the Giant. sand. Oh. oh, dang it. Oh, I got the one got behind him, him though. Nice. I got the one oh, you him. got a big one, dude. I got the bigger one. Dude, that's a good one, man. Yeah, that is. Okay. Dude, the nice. one that the one that originally came out to you is tiny. I know. You got the good one. There we go. All right. Got them all. There we go. Not a bad fish. No, not at all. And the one I had one come up and hit it, but it was like a two pounder. It was like it was three. This yeah. size. Yeah. Very nice, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, calm, calm yourself. Calm yourself. All right, I'm just gonna here, just. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We, again, we did we did the the adventure, the largemouth adventure didn't quite work out. When we went uh, smallmouth fishing for a little bit up shallow, we caught some nice ones. But dude, it's laying down right now. The wind was blowing this morning, but it's calm. 
I said we make a move here in a minute and we run out there to the lake and try to catch a couple donkeys for you guys. Giants. 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 By dragging the dropping. Yes. Dragging the dropping. A couple more dropping. casts here, we're going dragging dropping. All right, so we're out on this big flat. We're 15 miles out in the middle of the lake. And there's little patches of grass. And there's perch and rock bass and alewives out here that these big, these big smallmouth are eating. But you don't catch a lot of numbers, but when you catch one, a lot of times they're really, really big. We're gonna troll motor around, take the panoptics, actually look for the fish. When we find one, you know, 30, 40, 50 feet away, we'll pitch our bait over to it, hopefully catch them. It's pretty cool. They're not where they were the other day. No, they're not. But if we just keep kind of cruising around, we're gonna see them on the panoptics. No, 100%. That thing is one of the, the best things to put on the front of your boat. Yeah. You guys have no idea how it's clutch pretty that ridiculous. thing is. There he is. Got him? There's another one down there. Oh, I can see the one coming up. He's little. Yeah, his buddy stayed down there. We saw there's three of them out there at 40 feet. Now this is a small one here. This one is, uh, doesn't belong in the club. There's some big ones out here. And what we're throwing is we're throwing the Guggen baits, drag and drops, little finesse bait. You can drop shot it, you can drag it. That's why it's called the drag and drop. And uh, it really catches the mess out of them. I'm just gonna tell you that. Eight pound P-line fluorocarbon and 10 pound P-line braid. Eight pound line is important, especially as clear as this water is. You're just gonna get more bites on eight. I mean. The eight P line is strong. You're not gonna have a problem with it. So I recommend eight for sure. Okay, there they are right there. There they are. Get ready, like 40 oh, feet out in front of the boat. Oh, like, there's oh, like eight oh, of them there right now. I know what's about to happen. And we'll see this, this is the bottom here. Now keep the sensitivity up enough where you get a little bit of feedback, but not enough to and you know, hinder what you can see. So that's what that little stuff is there. Got him. You got him? Got him. Big oh one. my oh, gosh. Oh, it's a giant. Oh my gosh, dude. That is a giant fish. Oh, you want me to help you out there? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> you got to see it. <laughs> you got to see it. Oh, whoa. that's two today. <laughs> hey, at least you know the bait works. <laughs> <laughs> so I put the treble on this thing and that's, that's really helped out a lot. I still lost the fish, but you know, we don't have a net in the boat. We're just, we're having fun. This is just a, again, just a good day on the water. And uh, Live Target really did their homework with this thing. That's a fish. There you go. There That's you go. a fish. There you go. That could be a good one. Dude, it's staying down. That, uh, he's doing big head. He's staying he's down. He's shaking. Oh, it's a really big one, dude. That's a big fish. Like, like giant. Look, he just spit up a freaking t a bait. Look at that bait that's fish. That's your just biggest. Spit up. Yes, it's it's a six pounder, dude. No. Yes, that's a six look pounder. Look, he just spit up a perch. We'll go get the perch in a minute and weigh the perch too. <laughs> if this thing's six, it just spit up a perch. If it's like a couple ounces shy of six, I'm gonna be hard. Keep an eye on that perch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna be so <laughs> hard on the perch. Oh, that's oh, a no, shit no. big, dude. That's Hold big. This way. Got him. Got him. Got him, oh. got him dude. Thank Welcome God. to the Gorilla Zoo. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's a tank. That is a tank. Because you're definitely. What do you think? I think that's big, my biggest yes! big ball valve ever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here. <laughs> oh, that is, oh my goodness, dude. Yeah, that's a giant. Wow. That is a giant. All right, I'm gonna get the scale out. We'll weigh him. Oh, that's definitely my biggest smallmouth ever. 100%. 5'9", 5'7", 570. 5'70", dude. 5'70", what's... So that's a 5'12". 5'12". 5'12". Four ounces from a six pounder, dude. <laughs> that is big. <laughs> that is big. That Gorilla is Zoo, oh, baby. <laughs> Gorilla Zoo, I told you. We might have made a bad decision earlier, jacking around in the mud, but not anymore. Thank you so much. That is my new PB smallmouth. I'm going to be I only come up with smallmouth fish every once in a while, and thank God I got to come with one of the best fishermen on planet Earth to one of the best fisheries on planet Earth. There's, uh, there's some right there. Oh, man. 
You know what you just they saw? They were chasing. They were chasing my bait up. Yes. You see that? Right here. Oh, there's my bait. There's a fish going to oh. it right now. Does he have it? He might have it. There's a big one. Okay. That's a big one, dude. Yeah. I mean, for real giant. Watch. Watch him jump. It's a monster, dude. Dragon dropped like 600 yards that way. Yeah, that's a pretty big fish. Gorilla Zoo, baby! The drop shot's working good. You know, the other day, it was all drag and drop on the bottom. You're still getting them on the drag and drop, yep. but they're biting the drop shot now. Nice. That's why he was fighting so hard. Because he was hooked funny. There you go, man. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Good four pounder. Very, very nice. Woo! Give me four on that one? Yeah. Four pounder. Drop shot. So we're throwing the drag and drop on a, on a Ned rig, a little tiny weighted jig head. And we threw it at probably five or six of them. I think they also saw me chuck it <laughs> yeah. 600 yards that way. <laughs> nice. All right. Oh, I just got hit hard. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, I don't think he's that big. Oh. God, he crushed it, though. No, he's a big guy. Yeah, he's pretty big. He's pretty big. Yeah, he just came up quick. Whoa. Wow. Okay. He might be your biggest one. No. You think so? No, uh, he's not as big. He's not bigger than the other one. There we go. <laughs> How about the gorillas, <laughs> boys? I know you. There you go. The drop shot's working good. It's you know, the other day it was all drag and drop on the bottom. You're still getting them on the drag and drop, yep. but they're biting the drop shot now. There he is. Got him? Yeah. Big one? Feels big, dude. Oh! Oh, he's oh, oh my gosh! No. Dude, it was like a six. Yeah, he was big. That was that was a tank. That was an actual tank. <laughs> oh, that's a that hurts. That hurts. Dude, that was a s over six, I'm telling you. I got one. You. Good. Oh, geez. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. There's one with him. There's one with him. A big one with him. Oh, there is. He's right behind him. right behind him. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That's a big fish, wow. too. Got him. Did you? I don't know how big. Big? Oh, big. Big? Big. I'm gonna get rid it's of this It's not one. the gorilla, though. Wow, that's a good one there. Good I think there's any more down there. I think I should flip uh, out some of the boat. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of them. I see them on the panoptics. Yes, there's like one, there's like 10. There's 10 right there, dude. This is no joke. It's like grouper fishing out here. <laughs> this is a special day, dude. I mean, we had a special day the other day in the yeah. team challenge. This is, this is mega. Dude. This is so cool. Is I hope you guys are enjoying this because this doesn't happen all the time, but I tell you what, Lake St. Clair is fishing really, really good. Oh, there's so many. Look at them all, the whole bottom. Oh, no, look, look at this. Look at this, guys. Come here. These oh, they're coming down fish. my bait. They're coming they're down all, my bait. These are all fish. Got them. Oh, Got him. yes, they're all fish. He's he just one. came down on my bait, yeah. Yes, those are all fish right there. He's coming up. Oh, you got a giant, dude. <laughs> Gorilla Zoo! <laughs> We're hit. Double, dude. Oh. Double up. I mean, there's, there's like... 15 of them out in front of the boat. This is stupid, dude. This is absolutely. You can call your shot. You can see him on that pan office. You can flip up there yeah. and watch it go down and. How big is he? Four? Four plus? Yeah. If I put him with the other one, maybe he'll think he's safe. Like put him right here. Be like, hey, look, here's another one right here. Come to him. That's a, that's a big one. Okay. Got him. Got him. He's hard. Yeah, that's a five. That's dude. a big fish. That's a five. That's a big smallmouth. Look at that drag and drop all day. Look at this, guys. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. I tell you what, dude, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> that's big fish today, my friend. That's big fish. I got you. You got me. You got me. Well, you got me. You I got me. Scott Martin. You did. You did. You got me well. But I tell you what. I know we keep saying the same thing over and again, uh, how special this place is, but when you have good equipment, you have good baits, you know, you're dialed in to what you know what these fish are doing like we are right now, 
the potential is amazing with what we're catching. That's why I'm let's see what we have. Okay. I think it's a special day, dude. If it's 25 plus, this is gonna be nuts. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Oh, yeah, dude. I'll oh, see, look. 25. 25.9? 20, 25.94, dude. 25.94. The Gorilla Zoo, what else can I say? 25.94. That's, that's, that's a lot of 25 pound bag, a small mouth, <laughs> in just like an hour and a half. You cut your personal best six pounder. Dude, it was awesome. Yeah. We got the Guggen baits to work. Drag and drop is key. Caught a couple on the Bandito. Live target was working. Yeah. It was a fun day, dude. Everything was just. But you're the champ. You got me. I, I beat Scott Varden. He beat me. He beat me. <laughs> so stay tuned next week. New late, new challenge. We'll see you guys. We're out.